Hi, my name is Fred Mitchell, and I'm here today to show you an app or some software that I'm really familiar with. In order to do this, I was thinking, what app shall I use or which software? And then I realized my phone is ideal. It's filled with apps, filled with software, and it's something I always use and I know regularly is with me. So unfortunately for the Android users, it is an iPhone, so you guys lose out if you have Android, but maybe better luck next time. Right, starting with your photos, if you have a lot of photos, and like me, you've got kids, and they go through your pictures and hand your phone to a friend who might scroll left and right, pictures that you don't want people to see, there's, an, there's something in the app that helps you. Let me show you. You go to photos, you pick the photo that you want, whatever it might be, you click on the share button, scroll up, where it says hide, click on that, click on hide photo, and the photo is gone. However, the problem is that this could still sit, there's a hidden album sitting there, shows, so someone can go and click on that. And the way to take that away is you go to settings, settings. you go to photos, click on that, scroll down, where it says hidden album, toggle the switch off, and the hidden album is gone. You can still move pictures there, doesn't matter, but no one can see it. Right, now if you're doing a lot of photos and you're creating a lot of albums, like I generally do, you've seen, I'm sure, that sometimes just random pictures become the album cover. But if you want to stop that and have a specific photo as the album cover to help you identify or whatever, it's very, very easy to do. All you do is, again, you go to photos, go to your photos, scroll down to your albums, pick the album that you want, if anyone doesn't matter, you pick that one, then you hold your finger on the photo that you want to make the album cover, this little menu pops up, you push make a key photo, and that photo has become your album cover. So that shows you two interesting things to do with your pictures. Then, as you're sending messages, how can that be more interesting? So you go to your messages, messenger app, you open the person that you want to send it to, then you type in whatever you want, you then hold the send button down, this little menu pops up, it gives you options of slam, loud, gentle, or um, invisible ink. If you click that, that's how they'll see the message. And then if you want to make it even more interesting, you click on screen, you start seeing different options to which you just scroll left until you find one that you like. Valentine's Day, you can put a heart, put a discotheque, or a nightclub, showed my age, some fireworks, and then basically done and said. Now, when they get the message, that's how they're going to see it. So these things are all awesome. They're all lots of fun. They are interesting, and they make your phone a lot more user-friendly. However, your phone is not just for fun. One of my best features is the emergency SOS. Um, so if you haven't got that activated, I strongly advise that you do. You go to settings again, go out of photos, you go to emergency contacts, emergency SOS, click on that. Make sure these buttons are toggled green. You can there see who your emergency contacts are that you've set up. You can see that. And then what happens when you push the uh, lock screen and the volume, top volume button at the same time, it gives you, first of all, the options to make an urgent emergency call, which is great. Or if you toggle the uh, lock screen button five times like this, it sets an alarm that goes off. It's going to sound like this. You can cancel this. If you, ca if you don't cancel it and it runs through to the end, it will then send messages to your emergency contacts on your phone. You can cancel it and it can do the same thing for you, depending on how you set it up for yourself. So this is something that you definitely should have activated. It's secure, it helps you, helps your security, and it sets you up for a bit, makes you feel a bit better. So I hope these tips and tricks are useful to you. And 
until we meet again, which will hopefully be at the interview stage, and then hopefully for that offer, have a good day.